the GBB. Bring it up, then. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization known as DedSec. Officially, SIRS disputes the veracity of the documents, though sources within the organization claim that Richard Malik himself has fled the country following what one described as an unprecedented and humiliating data breach. As more of the dossier is independently verified, counter-terror experts speculate that the bombings earlier this year may have also been misattributed to DedSec. This is the place. Where's our informant? Bad news from Hamish. His contact is running late. May as well make yourself comfortable. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? It would take a lot more than this to do that. The attack occurred just as Albion CEO Nigel Cass was announcing a new security... Turn up the telly, mate! Our cameras captured video of the attack, which some viewers may find disturbing. Without their tireless work, we couldn't have rolled out these checkpoints. Watch out! 43C. Engage contact right. Aim fire! Aim fire! Government officials have yet to issue a statement, but Cass had this to say. An attack on me and my men is one thing. We're trained to handle these monsters. But I will not abide civilian casualties. This city deserves peace. And I promise you, London, we carry on as we are. These attacks will continue. We don't need to live like this. Scared to leave our homes. Criminals. Terrorists like these. Can we stop before they even start? And I have a plan to do just that. Your police and politicians may have stopped fighting for you. But I will never stop. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Cass ought to be in charge of things. The hell he should. He's just another greedy bastard. Nigel Cass is the only one who gives a fuck about this city. Twat! Oi, break it up. Keep it civil. Jesus fucking Christ, mate. Fucking hell. Tell me you lot met with my contact and he had nothing to do with this. Your man never showed up, Hamish. But come on, this was a show. It has Cass written all over it. Without a doubt. That contrived speech for the cameras. We have to get to that attack site. No, no, you don't get it, fam. Radu's been seriously unbalanced lately. Talking all sorts of rubbish ah. about someone having to stop Cass, no matter the cost. Timing's too pat. Cass announces this new security initiative and then he's attacked in public. No way. Hope you're right. And it's not Radu gone off the deep end. This is the site where Nigel Cass was attacked. But, surprise, surprise, his personal goon squad has already scrubbed the area for evidence. A massive cleanup at a crime scene. That's a big red flag if I ever saw one. Yes, if you search for clues, I may be able to reconstruct the attack in augmented reality. You really are handy, Bags. There is a CTOS data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. Will do. Hello everybody, my name is Supersplat, and welcome back to Watch Dogs Legion Let's Play. And last time was a while ago. I don't remember exactly what happened because between doing the post commentary and recording the actual gameplay it was quite a while ago. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, now we're doing more with Albion. I'm gonna take down uh, Nigel Cass. I'll see you guys in the next bit. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. does look like pro-terrorism, in the sense that it's both professional and in favor of terrorism. Brilliant. So this bloke knew how to find professional weaponry. Doesn't exactly narrow it down, though. I'll see what I can get my hands on.
searching facial recognition databases, and here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing, until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Radu? Oh, shit. Fam, that's the bloke put me on the Themis. My contact inside Albion. Fuck, so it was a real assassination attempt after all. I can't say I blame them. What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, Bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks have black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes. I can track down the black box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. Can you also run the truck's plates, Bags? Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. Cass did something to seriously piss this guy off. If they're fighting amongst themselves, we can use that. First things first, let's have a look at that truck. According to Albion radio chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. Wait, really? The Tone site? What the hell for? Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground, innit? The problems they like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. Absolutely. I'm at the Tone bombing site. So, this is where Albion brought the truck used in the Finsbury attack. That's right, but what we don't know is why they brought it here. I'll see what I can get my hands on. This is the truck used in the Finsbury attack. I have a VIN and plate match. The dash cam is a shambles, but the local cameras picked up some audio. Worth a listen. Oh, Jesus. He's pretty burnt up. Happens when your truck explodes. Fuck! I used to see him around R&D. Did you know him? Hell no. But even if I did, I wouldn't fucking talk about it. Know what I mean? I'm detecting several optics nearby with no life signs connected. That's where we should look for the driver's body. Huh? On it. Surrender. This could be the body we're looking for. His burns were crisp. There's a lump of damaged metal in his noggin. That might want to have been an optic. But not too busted for you, eh, Bags? I'm pulling everything down from his cloud storage now. I recommend escaping from the premises. Albion is using this place as a dumping ground for dead bodies. That makes sense. If you consider that new bodies are constantly being unearthed from the tone wreckage, they can kill anyone they want and get away with it. I've decrypted an audio file recovered from the attacker's body. Shall I play it? Show off a bit, Bagley. He's launched them, Mum. They're waiting up there, and no one knows. People think he'll keep them safe, but that's not what he wants. He wants control. He sent them up there to watch us. And worse, he called them Justice Themis drones. What a cruel joke. The project was dead. But he has the team re-engineering an upgrade that'll activate a systemic reboot, and... You always hated it when I used my big up words. I... I can't let it happen. And without him, it doesn't. Mom, I'm about to do something. Something awful. Or at least people will say it's awful. If they know what I know, maybe they'd think better of me. Less of a monster. But I'm trying to stop a monster, Mom. I am. If you had the chance to stop something terrible from happening by... by... killing someone, wouldn't you do it? Something truly horrible? I'm sorry. I love you. joking. We've been living with Themis drones above our heads this whole time. Just waiting for an upgrade to switch them to killer mode. Might take months, but Cass could get the project back on its legs. Unless we destroy the drones themselves. Bugs boy, the Themis data we wiped at Titus. 
Any chance you remember enough to retro-engineer a more suitable upgrade? I'll do you one better. I can code a virus from the data itself. What? Why the fuck would you hold on to that project data badly? I asked him to. No sense in just flushing data. Never know what might come in handy or what you might learn. So, how do we use it to infect the drones? Albion's got a primary communications hub at Tower Bridge. Upload the virus there, fam, and all the drones get a dose. Let's do it. This is Albion's primary communications hub, but there's more security here than there is around the Royal Meth Stash. You should start by destroying their encryptors. If your hacking skills are up to snuff, dominating a combat drone or two could help. I've got it. So this part was annoying, mostly because I, I did this in my first playthrough as well, where I get to the location where the first dot is to disable all the encryptors and you can't get to it, so you gotta go all the way on the other side. Uh, to the location, then you climb up and this, that, the other thing, so. Yeah. Just kind of repeating the same stuff I did in my first playthrough, and that was learning experience nonetheless. That's it for the encryptors. You can now upload the virus using the central antenna. I've got it. All right, here goes nothing. I'm reading incoming drones. Please, not Femi's drones. No, 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 these aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. in one piece a bit longer. The sore eyes. That's it for them, is fam. No coming back from this. Yes, the lights are lovely. I suggest you leave before someone gets the bright idea to turn yours off. Cass's plan to use drones driven by some social algorithm to dispense justice has backfired. Do you think he's actually read any of those Greek myths he's named his drones after? What's to stop the next plan and the one after that? Cass is the real problem here. We have to figure out a way to stop him. How the fuck do we do that? Cass has got an army, a fleet of killer drones, and he's still got the city in the palm of his hands. What have we got? Most people still think we're bloody terrorists. So we take the people's support away, fam? Bags and me have some thoughts on what we gotta do. 
You lot better come in for a briefing. Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now, I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected dead sec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. Get this clown. Nigel likes playing tough, but we stop him from terrorizing London and he goes crying to the press. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. He scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. Thank God we're on the same page, then. Vax, fill him in. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went after Waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Fan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? Think about how unstoppable she'd be with DedSec backing her. We could really help each other. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something. Claire used to broadcast from somewhere around here. That's all I've got, I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. Not everyone shares our love for her, and if we found her so easily, then she's not safe. Let's hurry. Cook shit! Someone got her! I'm fucking pissed off. She was doing some real good, you know? Fucking hell! I'd love to listen to you moan all day, but perhaps investigating her murder would be a better use of our time. Fine. We'll figure out the truth and make the bastards pay. But I'm going to be propelled by my justified fury the whole time, yeah? Lots of people pass through here. Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. Just a wild guess. But I suppose they provide shit for Albion. So the killers nabbed Claire's gear, but must not have seen the tablet. Bags, can you pull anything from it? Slightly more than the usual security. Can't just barge past it. It'll take at least a polite cough and then excuse me. Give me a moment. Check out this graffiti, Bags. A bit much, wouldn't you say? Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. Doesn't really feel like Clan Kelly's usual garbage tactics, if you ask me. Tablet unlocked. Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. OK, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... <laughs> Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here, transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... <laughs> Security, drop your weapon! 
Gather all our equipment and get it to the carousel. Do take that wall. Then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gang vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? Fuck me. Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's got to be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment then, along with the audio file evidence. Holy shit. That's exactly the evidence we need to put an end to Cass and make him pay for what he did to Claire, to the whistleblower, to everyone. That Albion goon mentioned carousel. Reckon they're talking about the carousel plaza Albion library? Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. is here somewhere. Watch out, Albion security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene. There's also a lot of them around. All right then. These pricks are a dangerous lot. Better be careful. Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we? This is nice here that you can hijack a counterterrorism drone for your own and just go to town with it. Just destroy everything and kill as many people as you can and that way you have less resistance to deal with. I, I, it's like, I'm glad I was able to use as many operatives as I could, even though I mostly stuck to the same ones over and over again, but... You found Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact. But, uh, yeah. And I'm surprised this part went as well as it did because I think I remember losing, like, dying a lot, like, losing a lot of operatives doing this mission before with permadeath. It seems like there's a lot of points in this game where you could, where it's, where it's similar to like a Pokemon Nuzlocke that you could just like lose, like, you know, exact points when you're gonna, you're almost like guarantee that there's gonna be like a death going on. told you the Prime Minister would turn you down. Brits love to see private military contractors on foreign streets, but not their own. He's a fool! This whole city, this whole country's collapsing. The military's held together with duct tape. Police are running scared. Someone has to save the people, Nigel. Someone strong. <laughs> they do. I've already worked it out. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tax teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament as agreed. Now go away. Now Scarpa or they'll kill you for sure. you want to snap his smug bollocks in a pencil case, doesn't he? And Zero Day knew just which strings to pull to get what they wanted, didn't they? Filament. And Cass was willing to trade it for the keys to the city. Fuck. Don't know, fam. I think I always thought there was a chance for him to... Fuck! To be the man you thought he was. Sorry, Hamish. If that man ever existed, he's gone now. We have to get this information out there. To the people. You're right. When you lot get the chance, come to Piccadilly Circus. Been working with bags on something. And this proof is just the topping we needed. London, you've been lied to. Nigel Cass and his Albion peacekeepers intend to permanently control this city. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tag teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable, it cannot trace back to me. Nigel Cass collaborated with a terrorist to bomb this city. Then, he set up an orbital drone program called Themis that will target you based on your stolen data. 
I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. I've given you the truth. Do as you will. Actually, fuck that. Resist. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? All right, Hamish. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice of you to show that pretty face again. Yeah, well, can't lock myself away from the world forever. Got a lot to make up for, don't I? Besides, you sorry lot need all the help you can get. Check it. Fucking wankers! Albion won't put their dick away for a while, eh? Sent that to every news outlet I could think of. They're gonna have it on the loop for a while. And when the people tweak to what it means, Cass is done. He'll be removed, prosecuted for high treason. They'll have no choice. We've done it. Congratulations, team. Hell yes. I don't know about you lot, but I could go for a pint, a shag, and a massage. And not necessarily in that order. There is still the matter of Zero Day. You know, the rogue hacker group that conspired with Cass and Mary Kelly to blow up London. Jesus, Backley, all work and no play. Give the squad a second or two to bask in our victory. Safe to say it won't last long. I doubt this is the reaction you were expecting, but Nigel Cass is in the news again. The government has convened to review its contract with Albion. Nigel Cass himself has responded to requests that he should surrender to the authorities in a heated call with the GBB. Just shut up and listen to me. I will not be removed by the government or anyone else. I will die first. And many will die with me. They're calling for blood. They'll have it. This city belongs to me. I am its shepherd and I will slaughter my flock before I relinquish it. Cass has barricaded himself in his White Tower headquarters and threatened to kill anyone that tries to stop him. He is heavily armed and considered extremely dangerous. Shit. He's gone off the deep end. He's liable to take it to the streets in his state. We have no choice. We have to get to White Tower and stop him. Mate, Nigel's got a private bunker under this place where he liked to tweak his toys. I'll bet he's barricaded himself down here. Won't be anyone but the true believers around the compound. Right. Guess we better deal with the rest of Cassie's shit. Luckily, his reinforcements are limited to whoever's faffing about nearby. So now we're sneaking back into where Albion is being held, and uh, we got a fight up ahead of us to take down Nigel Cass. And uh, it's a thing. That exists. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I'll talk more about it as I get to the next clip and I'll be signing off for this video. So you've come to end it, have you, dead sick? But haven't you figured it out yet? What our mutual acquaintance Zero Day set in motion? My inevitable reign, and your downfall. This is how it will always end. The natural order of people like me, and people like you. I am the law. Come down. Let me show you. So this fight, I'll be honest, is really underwhelming, and you're going to see why later on. I was actually surprised that I... Oh no, there was a whole, like... I don't know, the characters weren't doing what I was wanting to do in our lineup, but anyway. 
So that's going to be it for me in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video. Just stay tuned for the rest of this Let's Play, as well as any other future content coming to the channel. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification button. Thank you very so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next time. Let's get this over with. It's time to end this. I will make London great again. I'm impressed. Think your little resistance is ready to be London's protectors. Taking you out seems like a pretty good start. Oh, it's a thankless burden. And the people will hate you for it in the end. Even when it's for their own bloody good. <laughs> the people can decide what is and isn't good for them. <sighs> there it is. Dead sex fatal flaw. Your faith in people. You recruit all types, don't you, straight off the streets. Well, I used to have faith in people, too. I got a good man killed once. <gasps> well, that strikes Nigel Cass off the list. Shame. I think he would have made a smashing zero day. We have plenty of work still to do. Cass may be gone, but Albion won't disappear that easily. Expect the powers that be to find fresh excuses to keep them on the streets. That said, I think we've earned ourselves a bit of a rest. From Zero Day as well. Oi! You put down a mad dog, dead sick. Needed to be done. This calls for a celebration, innit? And now that I'm not being hunted by a psychopath, I think I'd like to see that safe house of yours. Link me there.